in front of me we have a tumbler, piece of tape and some books. Let's say I put the books like this and I tip it over, it falls. What if I do it with this tumbler? It doesn't fall. Now let's try it with this tape. It keeps rolling. What am I trying to get to here? In this video, I'll explain why this book does it false, but this tumbler does it. It all has to do with a field of physics known as statics. We will be learning three core topics today, which is the center of gravity, the equilibrium of a particle, and finding torque. First off, we start with the center of gravity. Now, the center of gravity is where the mass is concentrated at. So let's say this book, you can say that the mass is evenly distributed, but overall it is concentrated at the center point of the book. Let's compare with this tumbler. In this tumbler, you can see that most of the weight is pulled to the bottom because there's water here. You can say that the center of gravity is lower for this tumbler compared to this book. In most cases, the center of gravity is located inside an object, but there are rare cases like this duct tape where it's located outside of the object, which is in the middle space right here. So why did the book fall and not the tumbler? Well, that has got to do with equilibrium of an object. The book has a very high center of gravity and a very small base. So you can say that it is at an unstable equilibrium. The center of gravity, when I tip it, it goes outside of the area of the base and therefore it will fall. The tumbler on the other hand is a very stable equilibrium because as I tip it, the center of gravity does not fall far from the base, so it can come back to its original position. The same method can be applied when riding a bicycle. When you want to take a turn, you will become very unstable. So what you do is you lower down your body a bit as you turn. That way your center of gravity is lower and you are more stable, thus you are able to achieve that turn. What about the tape though? I push it push it around, the center of gravity stays where it's at. Then I can say that this is in a neutral equilibrium. Tipping it around does not really make it fall. Let's come back to this tape. We can use this tape to explain the equilibrium of a particle. So when a particle or any given object is in equilibrium, it means that the total amount of forces acting on it would result in zero. Let's say I push this part here, and I push this part here. I push it at the same amount of force. Total force acting on this tape is zero, so it doesn't move. There are two types of equilibrium. The first equilibrium is where the net force acting on it is zero. The second type of equilibrium is when it's moving but its acceleration is zero. Last but not least, let's look at torque. And the example that we have is this door right here. Let me bring the camera. So, we have a car door. You want to open the door. You go to the side of the door. Closing the door is the same. What if you try on the other side? It's much harder to do it. That's because torque is at play. Torque is the resultant movement of a rigid body along the axis. In which, let's say, let's take this pole here. I move it around. That's torque. The resultant force of my hand pushing it is acted upon the pole alongside the axis of the metal. If I want to tip the hole, 
Moving up here is easiest as it requires less force to move the same amount. Down here, it's much harder to move it. However, overall, both forces are the same. It's just that one requires less force at a given amount of time to move the same distance. Now I've explained to you all of these theorems and physics and you're, kind of, and you're probably wondering why should I learn all of this? You see, statics is a very interesting branch in mechanical physics and it governs the movement of any, any object at rest. So let's say a builder, he wants to build a bridge. He has to factor in all the forces on that bridge, all the people walking on it, the weight of the bridge itself, can it suspend itself over a large body of water like a river? All those forces come into play and that's why statics is important. Without a clear understanding of statics, many structures today would have likely collapsed by now. But what about an example much closer to home? Well, as you're bringing your groceries along, you'd understand that with statics, you would try to lower down the center of gravity as much as possible. That way it will be more stable and it won't fall as easily from your hands. So all in all, from saving those basket of eggs from breaking to building the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, statics plays a very important role in our lives. And that's why you should learn it. I am Alif Hilmi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.